been a steady increase in crime over the last seven days in Yuma, and it all started with Saturday night's mass shooting at a house party. The latest evil actions have some residents concerned and on edge. Our Samantha Bird shares a recap of what's transpired and how locals are feeling about the rise in violence. A violent week in the city of Yuma after three murders, one attempted murder, five people injured by gunshot, two convenience store robberies, and one aggravated assault. Yuma locals sharing concerns about the influx in crime. I'm scared for my kids. That's what I'm worried about. I'm scared for my kids. Because, you know, if I'm gone, who else can watch them? Skyler encourages people to be mindful of who they surround themselves with. As long as I stick with the right crowd, I'm good. The Yuma Police Department says so far in 2023, there have been three homicide cases in the city, leaving five people dead. Three of those deaths occurred this past week. YPD also says there have been 10 attempted homicide cases so far this year, and we're only in the month of May. One resident I spoke to says he thinks the crime rate in Yuma will only go up from here. It's going to get worse. It's going to get a lot worse. Donald Trump isn't going to be able to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, Biden isn't going to do it. Nobody is. It, we're just on a downhill spiral. And another community member says as our population expands, so will the crime. It's good that Yuma's growing, but at the same time, I guess they would every increase it's going to increase other things like the crime the right the creative crime. Keep in mind the crimes committed this week are still under investigation. YPD encourages anyone with information about these cases to call the police department or 78 crime to remain anonymous. Reporting in Yuma, Samantha Bird, News 11.